Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial on using buttons with Material UI. First, let's see how easy it is to create different types of buttons. You just go to Game Object, Material UI, Buttons. Or you can right click in the hierarchy and select Material UI, Buttons. You'll see four types of buttons. Text, Multi-Content, Floating Action Button, and Icon Button. Let's start with the first one. You'll see it's a simple white raised button containing text. We can press play and click on it to see the ripples and shadows in action. We can convert it to a flat button, which is exactly the same, but without a background color or a shadow. Then we have the multi-content button. It behaves in the same way as the default button we just saw, but includes an icon and is set up to contain multiple items with ease. We also have the floating action button, which is a round button with an icon that also behaves very similarly to the standard one. You can also create a smaller floating action button. Finally, we have the icon button, which is simply a flat floating action button. You can, of course, switch back and forth between flat and raised, just like the standard button. Now, maybe we don't want the basic white buttons with black text and an icon. Well, we can easily change this by selecting our button and going to the material button component in the inspector. You'll see a section labeled external properties, which has some options we can change. Please note that the external properties values are just linked to the actual values on various objects for convenience in the editor and are inaccessible via material buttons class. There are, however, references to the objects themselves, so you can still change any of these values via code. Let's start by changing the color of the first button. We'll make it red. We'll also change the color of the text. We can, of course, change the text itself. Notice how the button automatically resizes itself based on its contents. We'll talk a bit more about that later. For buttons with an icon, you'll see some different fields, button icon and icon color. You can easily change the color of an icon and, of course, the icon itself. Just click on pick icon and you'll see a window with all of the icons available from Google's material design icon set. Simply select one and boom, it's done. We'll go more into detail regarding Material UI's icon system in the next video. We can disable or enable a button simply by toggling the button enable checkbox. That's it for the four basic buttons, but of course, these are just pre-made ones. You can customize them to your heart's content. For example, we'll take this multi-content button and move the icon to the right. When customizing buttons, an important thing to keep in mind is making sure you have all your references linked up. These default buttons have the recommended size and padding from Google's material design guidelines, but you may want to change that. You can play with the padding width and padding height to do this. You can even disable the fit to content setting to allow the button size to be controlled by another layout component or manually. Finally, you can easily change the color of the ripples and highlights that appear when you interact with the button. Simply go to the material ripple component, attach the button and change the color. You can also play around with some of the other values, but we'll be covering material ripple more in depth in another video. Well, that's it for the tutorial on buttons. Be sure to check out the button example scene to play with them for yourself. See you soon for the next tutorial.